I know you know who Sabrina Fulton is. She's the mother of Trayvon Martin. I got a chance to meet her. We have bonded and had a relationship for since that, since that happened. Because what I can tell you is that after all of this, and this is going to die down, it's just inevitable. The work is still there to be done. Those, those individuals cannot come back. Sabrina can't have her son. George Floyd will no longer be here. The work is still here. I want to tell you, if you get a chance, find out Circle of Mothers. Circle of Mothers is 200 mothers, black mothers, that have gone through the same thing that we're talking about right now. It just wasn't televised. Nobody talked about it. So the thing is, is that the work will continue to be there. And we have to make sure that once this is done, is that we have to try to make change occur when it comes to police brutality. And what I'm saying is, is this, is that there has to be a deterrent. If that man can be handcuffed, and that man can sit on that man's neck for that long and feel comfortable about it, that means, comfortable about it, that means that he's not afraid of what's going to happen. We have to change the language. They have to be worried that I could go to jail for this. They have to respect us. They have to love us. That man cried out for his mom. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah. That man cried out for his mom. Yeah. 